Hi, I'm Tricky Kappa, your pop culture loving water goblin. A few weeks ago, I was lucky enough to see Shin Ultraman, the second film in Shinji Higuchi and Hideki Anno's planned Shin trilogy. The first being Shin Godzilla, and the third being next year's Shin Kamen Rider. I didn't really know what to expect going into Shin Ultraman. I was familiar with Ultraman having watched it on and off growing up, and I rewatched a bunch of the original series leading up to this movie, but I wasn't sure how this would fit into the groundwork that Shin Godzilla had laid down. Was this just going to be Shin Godzilla, but Ultraman is here now in his place? While Godzilla can be silly, the King of All Monsters has also been used successfully for political and social commentary over the years. Would they do that with Shin Ultraman? A property that at least to my knowledge and what I've seen has had its feet planted mostly in the silly. I settled in excited to see the film but also very on the edge of my seat to see what this movie was going to be. As the movie played out in front of me, I felt like puzzle pieces were falling into place. I saw the way that Shin Godzilla and this were not only linked, but truly left the theater feeling like these might be two of the most perfect companion movies I had ever seen. Shin Godzilla came out in 2016 and was met with near universal praise. It's an incredibly harrowing and haunting story about the failures of government and bureaucracy in the face of disaster. For nearly 120 minutes we watch as politicians drag their feet on deciding what to do, with this department needing input from this other department which needs a sign off from this guy and so on and so forth. All the while, Godzilla is not only causing mayhem, but evolving into more and more of a threat with each passing hour. Eventually, our heroes are successful, but at what cost? What is the final body count? The city is destroyed, and what happens when Godzilla wakes back up? Remember that final shot of Godzilla's tail? If Shin Godzilla is about the failure of those in power, then Shin Ultraman is about what happens when those in power actually care. It's about what's possible to get done when you're willing to go above and beyond to do it. At the beginning of the movie, even before Ultraman appears, we're shown that the team at the SSP have managed to help take down a couple kaiju. We're greeted with a montage of defeated kaiju in rapid fire succession. This stands in stark contrast to Shin Godzilla where everyone drags their feet to get things done. This is a young group of dedicated people ready to protect their country. When Shin Ultraman does show up to save the day, he sees the good in us and what humanity can accomplish and he wants not just to defend us but to work hand in hand with us and this is reciprocated by the human characters as well. The failures of government are featured in Shin Ultraman but they're taken care of by a headstrong group, the competent and hilarious members of the SSP and they're dealt with very quickly. Shin Ultraman also communicates this through its structure. Without giving too much away, Shin Ultraman is almost an anthology movie of sorts. It's made up of a few short stories that you could almost isolate on their own and treat as television episodes. I think it would be easy to dismiss this as Shiguchi and Anno wanting to fit in as many Ultraman callbacks as they can, but I think that does them and the movie a disservice. I think this narrative structure also communicates what the movie's main point is. This is what happens when people care, stuff gets done, people get saved, we accomplish more, and we can move on to the next thing. Compare that to Shin Godzilla, where rooms full of people argue and argue on what to do, and meanwhile, the one singular problem keeps evolving, getting worse and worse and more deadly with every moment. Both movies operate in tandem with each other. Shin Godzilla is about the horrors of government and a meditation on its incompetence and what happens as a result of that incompetence. But Shin Ultraman is about what happens when those who have power care and what happens when we work together, even if it's with a giant silver spaceman, to get things done for the good of all of us. I truly believe these two movies are best watched back to back and it really makes me excited to see what Shin Kamen Rider is and what its place in this trilogy will be. If it sticks the landing, then Shiguchi and Anno might end up making one of my favorite movie trilogies ever. Hey there guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. I loved this movie so much and I just really, really felt the need to talk about it and I couldn't think of a better way to launch my channel. If you liked the video, please subscribe. I definitely want to try to do some Halloween content for October. So if that interests you, make sure to, you know, subscribe. That way you see it. Um, and listen, if anybody in the comments section knows a good place for me to start with Kamen Rider, please let me know because I'd like to be informed going into Shin Kamen Rider. Anyway, that's all for me. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!